guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have a very, very cool model to take a look at, and not only a very cool model, we actually have the final piece of my current VFB art puzzle, because we've got ourselves a Triceratops, and as you already heard me say, this is from VFB Art, who I have reviewed quite a few models of recently, and this will be the third, I reviewed the Giganotosaurus, then I reviewed the Satakosaurus, and now we've got the Triceratops, and I must say these are three of the most beautiful models that I have ever had the pleasure of looking at and including into my collection in my entire life. So very, very excited to get this final one up on my channel again and review it and of course finish it and paint it and add it to my collection and hopefully I'll have the pleasure of you know reviewing some more of his work in the near future definitely going to try to get a hold of more of his models because they are like I said some of the most beautiful I've ever seen but as you can see this time again we're going to go out with a bang as we've got ourselves a very very cool looking triceratops so at this point I think the best thing to do would be head straight to a closer look so let's go ahead and do that right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of our triceratops you can see that we have the mouth in an open position the triceratops is obviously letting out some sort of a vocalization and i feel like the stance of the triceratops makes it almost look like it's kind of holding its ground so i'm gonna go ahead and say that it's probably defending itself and in fact just the positioning of the triceratops i could just envision in my head like a group of these triceratops kind of circling the young and uh you know, maybe fending off a few tyrannosaurs. I really feel like that's kind of like the, you know, feeling I get from looking at the model. But you can see, again, the fine detail looks great, even though it's probably going to mesh a little bit there with my backdrop because it is a similar coloration. You can, regardless, see how nice looking the actual skin texture looks here on the Triceratops. You can also see we've got a really nice hooked beak for the dinosaur you can also take notice to the fact that the tongue is kind of sticking up there on the inside of the mouth the detailing inside of the mouth also looks pretty nice you can see the teeth and everything right there you could definitely make out the teeth very nicely on both the upper and lower jaw and now that we're this close you can also see some very nice looking skin texture again to the lower jaw as well as you move up here you've got a pretty nicely sculpted out eye you as well have the horns and the horns what i like about this one is the horns come out and curve very nicely here on this one and you can also see that they come out to an extremely extremely sharp tip i don't know how good there we go you can definitely see how nice the tip of the horn looks on this triceratops so that as well looks pretty cool as you continue to move up a little bit further you reach the frill of the triceratops and i love all of the really really nice looking scale detail that we have up here but you can also see kind of like cracks and crevices running along the course of the frill of the triceratops which looks really cool moving down here again getting a nice shot from the front of the dinosaur that is definitely an animal i would not want to see charging at me and you can again see what the head looks like over here on this side as well pretty much just as beautiful as it did on the initial side there's not too much going on you can see a slight left turn to the head of the triceratops but very slight as you move back here into the neck, you can also pick up on some nice kind of like tensing here in the neck region. You can as well see some osteoderms picking up and the dinosaur starts to kind of become coated with them. You can really see that here as we move back into the you know front leg and shoulder area. You really start to see the osteoderms and stuff picking up pretty much everywhere. You can also see the throat is nicely sculpted out. And you have a very different style of scaling here for the underside of the Triceratops as well. That detail looks really, really nice. But again, as you move back up here, you can kind of make out the shoulder blade right there. Probably a little hard to see just because, again, it's blending so badly there with my backdrop. But once we get some paint on it, I think you'll be able to take notice of it a little bit better. You can also see that this foot is kind of lifting up off of the ground. And it almost, because of the like bend in the toes, it almost looks like it's uh, reacting similarly to like a bowl where it kind of like pushes up the dirt and pushes up the ground to kind of show a defensive stance and to, again, basically let whatever is near it know that it's not messing around. And that's kind of the feeling that I get when it comes to the positioning of that front leg right there. But you can also see here, again, really nice bending in the toes. The nails as well are quite nicely sculpted there. 
on the foot and you can also see some nice muscle definition moving down the course of that leg as you move back here into the stomach region you can again see more scales as well as tons of osteoderms throughout this figure was already pre-built when it was sent to me this was actually sent to me by medium master who i have commented on numerous times here on the channel about how fantastic his print quality is and you can really see that yet again with this triceratops i cannot recommend medium master and the business that he is currently operating when it comes to providing people with different dinosaur models like this and basically a 3d printing service i really cannot recommend again medium master enough because as you can see just looking at this the print quality is fantastic and then as you move back here you can also again see the hip bone right there more osteoderms and stuff as you move down the course of the thigh very large very muscular looking thigh you can also see a calf muscle right there as you move down into the rear foot you've got again a nicely sculpted foot with some nice looking toenails as well as some nicely sculpted out toes and again osteoderms galore as you move through the course of that rear leg and then as you lead out here into the tail you continue to have osteoderms but they kind of die out a little bit you can see them sort of tapering off as we lead out toward the tip of the tail and the tail kind of returns to that almost classic scale detail there as you move out and you again have more of that really nice looking really really vibrant scale detail here running along the underside of the triceratops you're not going to see too much difference over here compared to what we just saw on the initial side, especially on this model specifically, because the legs are pretty similarly positioned. You can see the leg over there is lifting up kind of again, in my opinion, pushing maybe some dirt to show a defensive positioning and a defensive visual. But this leg is basically in almost the same spot, just kind of planted into the ground. And this leg here is just slightly kind of behind the other leg there. And you can see the toes are sort of lifting up off of the ground a little bit there but you can see all the same style of detail again throughout the entire triceratops here looking at it on this side you can also pick up on the tensing and everything there in the neck region and as you move up into the rear of the frill you can see that we have all sorts of really nice looking fine detail cracks and crevices pretty much everywhere here on the back of the frill and then again you also have that very nice triceratops tail out here so sculpt wise the triceratops is gorgeous so i really cannot wait to get some paint on this one and then we also as per usual have a base and again you have a beautifully sculpted out earthy texture to the base similar to what we've seen on each and every one of these vfb art models so far and you can see again we have the footprints to the triceratops there are also some holes because that uh, is the way that you apply the triceratops to the base you can see some pegs on the undersides of the feet so that they slide right into those holes and even though I like to glue my models to the base this is another instance where you don't necessarily have to because you can just put the you know uh, pegs into the holes and keep it standing quite nicely but the texturing and everything looks great throughout and you also have the VFB art logo right there in the center of the base and then this really cool kind of circular well more like oval almost egg shape outer edge that runs around the base to again just kind of give it that you know museum like look that museum like quality to it so let's go ahead get this end of the triceratops painted up and check it out from there and here is the triceratops now fully finished painted up and honestly looking pretty nice i was happy actually with the way it turned out i didn't have any real inspiration for the paint scheme that i've chosen for it it was just basically something that was floating around in my head and i really wanted to have like that darker grayish tone with the reddish sort of face because i felt like it would be a coloration that would work well for like a bull triceratops like a male triceratops and Again, actually having it applied to a Triceratops now, it looks pretty good. So the idea, again, of having that coloration turned out pretty nicely. But I am very, very impressed. Again, even more so now actually having paint on this with how good the detailing is of this Triceratops. Like as you move through, look at how amazing that scale detail just absolutely pops now on this Triceratops. Like it looks incredibly realistic everywhere i look like this is one of the most beautifully detailed triceratops that i have ever seen no doubt about that you can see again especially right there under the eye like that scale detail just pops so so beautifully and the detailing doesn't cease there again as you move through the entire triceratops is as incredibly realistic as it gets and even the horns like the horns really pop again the fine detail like 
when I had taken a look at this unpainted, I had no idea how beautifully sculpted out the fine detail of those horns was until I actually again applied some paintwork to them. And now they just shine so nicely. And I really feel like the, again, the cracks and crevices and fine detail of those horns is super, super impressive. The entire Triceratops honestly has that extremely impressive appearance to it as far as the detailing aspect goes. As you move through, you can see again, it is just overloaded with incredible sculpt and incredible detailing, especially when it comes to the scale detail. But you can see osteoderms and everything all over the place that just pops so beautifully on the sculpt now. And hopefully my paint job looks okay. It looks at least somewhat realistic. I was pretty happy with it, which is definitely nice because I often kind of hate my paint jobs, but uh, this one I actually was pretty happy with, mostly probably because the model's so good and Again, once adding some paintwork to it, it really brings the model to life. And it's definitely one of the nicest Triceratops models that I have in my collection as far as the sculpt goes. But my paint job, again, I actually, like I said, I thought it turned out pretty good. So I was happy with it. And that's not always the case with me. So that's a huge plus, I think, for this model. And also really says something about VFB art and how good their sculpt is that it's so nice. It pretty much, again, paints itself because the detailing just meshes so beautifully with a little bit of color. But on top of the Triceratops, we again have the base, and the base as well is now painted up. I didn't want to do anything too crazy as far as the paintwork goes on the base because I felt like it was just this nice kind of like, maybe like an open sort of an area where the Triceratops was standing. Or again, like I had stated earlier, maybe quite a few Triceratops maybe defending their young or something, but... Uh, again, it turned out pretty nice, but once you add some paintwork to it, just like with the Triceratops, it really comes to life, and you can see how incredibly impressive the actual sculpting and detailing is, and I painted out the VFB art logo this time because I felt like it just really needed a little extra paintwork for that area to help that logo stand out and show off who is responsible for this incredible model. So definitely psyched about this. Having it now fully finished is really exciting. I'm very happy to actually get it on the base and check it out from there. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, like I had stated earlier, there were a few pegs on the undersides of the feet of the Triceratops, and you basically just have to line those up with the spots on the base and then your Triceratops is standing in there. And I also love that one foot is just slightly up off of the ground. You can see once it's actually standing fully, you know, planted into the base, you can see how that one foot is just stepping up off of the ground, which I really think, again, kind of shows off that almost like the Triceratops pushing dirt up to give sort of like a display of don't mess with me or I'm going to charge. So that really, really looked cool again, I think, on the model. As far as a size goes for the Triceratops, I don't know what the longest point would be. I guess the horn for a length from the tip of the horn to the tail. You're looking at about nine and three quarter inches or around 24 and a half, almost 25, just shy of 25 centimeters. And then for a height to the top of the frill, a little over four inches or around ten and a half centimeters. So maybe approaching four and a quarter inches, but not quite. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our VFB Art Triceratops. And you can really see that it does have a pretty impressive size, honestly. It is not a small figure by any means. Definitely a pretty sizable model. It's not huge. I would give it a nice... Uh, medium size range, maybe approaching large. It's honestly pretty much what you would expect for a Triceratops. It's a very similar size to a lot of other Triceratops models out there. And to show you that, there is the Papo Triceratops, and that's probably one of the more popular Triceratops models that a lot of people would have. And you can see that they are a pretty similar size. It looks like the Papo one might be slightly larger overall, but not too far off. Uh, very, very similar in size overall, though. For another comparison, there is the PNSO Triceratops, the more recent offering as far as a PNSO Triceratops goes. And yet again, you can definitely see they are very, very similar in size next to each other. Not far off at all. Actually, I would say those two look like they're pretty much the exact same size. But for another comparison, now this time you can definitely see a pretty big size difference. But this is one of the most recent Triceratops releases from any company we have the King Trident Triceratops from Rebor next to the VFB art version. And you can definitely see that the VFB art version is a good bit more reasonably sized in comparison to King Trident, but two gorgeous Triceratops figures right here before us, that's for sure. 
And for one final comparison, we have the Nanmu version of the Triceratops next to our VFB art version. And yet again, you can see the Nanmu version is a little bit larger than our VFB art version is. But as far as accuracy, obviously the VFB art version would win this round. There's still two really beautiful Triceratops yet again. And hopefully you'll have at least one of these other Triceratops that I have compared this with to help give you an idea of the size of the VFB art version. So this VFB Art Triceratops model is definitely one of the most beautiful Triceratops I have ever seen. It is without question a gorgeous sculpt and a really nice pose. I love the positioning of the Triceratops. I also love that the head is kind of like leaning down, which further shows off again, I think, that defensive appearance. Like it's obviously showing you that it's going to charge and you probably should get away. And again, I really feel like it is either defending itself from a predator or defending its young from a predator or maybe it's just dueling I don't really know for sure but regardless it absolutely has a defensive appearance to it and he has sculpted it out in a way that I feel like that idea that takeaway from the model is pretty obvious and again as far as the fine detail goes it is just gorgeous there is so much really really beautiful looking scale detail skin texture throughout all sorts of osteoderms and just again one of the most visually appealing triceratops sculpts i have ever seen the paint job of course was done by me so i guess i can't really judge that and that would be of course up to you guys and what you guys think it looks like if it looks good if it looks bad i'm not really too sure but i liked it i thought it turned out pretty nice and uh really fits the model overall as far as that kind of like bull type of a triceratops look and i think painting models is always so fun so relaxing and just probably one of the coolest hobbies you could have and this is a perfect one to paint up because, again, the detail is just super, super beautiful on it. And we also have a nice base, and I love the fact that not only do we have a really highly detailed earthy area, we also have that kind of outer ring there just to kind of polish off the museum-style look to the model. And as a whole, again, it completes one of the most incredible-looking Triceratops models that I have ever had the pleasure of checking out here on Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. So if you are interested in this model, I will include a link in the description to where you can check this out on VFB Art. I will also include a link to Medium Master in the description because that's where you can purchase this right now from him again he is in collaboration with not only vfb art but many other artists to bring you all sorts of incredible dinosaur models from sculptors of different countries that we normally wouldn't have the opportunity to get here in the united states so huge shout out and huge recommendation when it comes to purchasing from medium master but also again Make sure you check out the Patreon page of VFB Art so you can stay up to date with everything he is producing and get all the latest information on his models from there. And also, I will include links to all the different accounts of VFB Art that you can follow. And of course, you've got Facebook, Instagram, all of that stuff, so you can keep up to date that way as well. So make sure you check all that stuff out. Make sure you pick up one of these gorgeous Triceratops and also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.